As technology advances daily, new vulnerabilities are identified by criminals in the cyber world. Studies show us that 36% of organizations have been the target of some form of economic crime, making this a significant threat. As criminal justice professionals, we should use technology to monitor, identify, and investigate these impactful criminal offenses. In a recent project I was involved in, counter cybercrime professionals installed an analytical system to monitor the company's 20,000 clients and their public social media and geolocate data. This system helped to pattern their clients and then identify any behavior that was out of the norm. Today, I'm visiting with Andrew Yonke, the founder of RainTech, an IT solutions company that supports and safeguards businesses by managing the technical support functions of their IT infrastructure. So what do you see as the, as the greatest threat to personal security today? It has to be the theft of, uh, of records in bulk. So if an organization, say for instance a, a doctor's office, uh, it could even be a, a relatively small doctor's office, they're going to have tens of thousands of records. And if they haven't invested in the security uh, needed to protect those records, they can all be stolen at once. And those records can go for $700 or more. More so than the individual just at home who's also a target and, and can be taken advantage of. Where this information sits in bulk is where malicious software engineers and, and hackers are targeting. Like, what kind of dangerous assumptions does the public you know, and companies have that people believe that they're safe or that they're already doing enough. And unfortunately, a lot of organizations treat IT as more of a cost center. They don't necessarily invest in the technologies and the people necessary to protect their information. And a lot of users are, are convinced that the websites that they go to are safe. And we hear that constantly, even with computers that have been infected. Malware is written to be behind the scenes. So what would be some examples of things that uh, companies and, and people can do to help prevent these type of risks? The most important thing is that you're defending your information on every front that it can be attacked on. Some people believe that just having antivirus is sufficient and having an antivirus application on, on your computer or, or on all your computers is going to protect you. Uh, that's one of your last lines of defense really is all inbound email for an organization be, should be filtered to prevent known attachment types from coming in. They should be checking security databases that are updated constantly. In addition to that, there's web content filtration. So making sure that people are browsing sites that are uh, known to carry malware. A totally legitimate website becomes compromised uh, overnight. An active firewall, looking at traffic that's going in and coming out. The companies that write the software that runs our computers are releasing security patches all the time. So how about some of the uh, resources? Talk to us a little bit about some of the resources that are available. If you're a larger organization, you should have professionals on staff that specialize in security at all these various levels. If you're a smaller organization, then you do need to work with a qualified IT consulting firm or managed service provider, cloud provider, somebody that's going to be providing that comprehensive approach to security. It's not the kind of thing that organizations should necessarily try to tackle uh, themselves. So what do you see, you know, let's say going out two to three years as some of the biggest uh, trends uh, in your industry? The targeted attacks, the spear phishing, social engineering, these are particularly dangerous because somebody can do a very little bit of homework, maybe 20 minutes of, of surfing around on social networking sites and, and just Googling people to identify targets in an organization. And so I think that over the next couple of years, we're going to continue to see a lot more training happening in, in the workplace where users are expected to and instructed how to prevent those kind of attacks. IT professionals are a valuable resource in preemptively protecting against economic crimes like cyber fraud. Criminals use technology to advance their activity in cybercrime. Criminal justice and IT professionals strive to keep one step ahead by leveraging that same technology.